Insight presents In the Kitchen with Jennifer, the Fit Foodie, brought to you by the Great American Spice Company. Hi, I'm Jennifer Wright, your Fit Foodie, coming to you from the Great American Spice Kitchen. And do I ever have something special prepared for you for the holiday season? It is my holiday quinoa. And that is quinoa. Oftentimes people want to pronounce quinoa as quina, but it's actually quinoa. That's the, pronoun that's the correct pronunciation of it. Quinoa comes in many different colors. There's red quinoa, which is great for the holidays. There's black quinoa, which is a little bit nuttier. The red's a little earthier. And then there's white quinoa that we're showing you today. And that's a little bit more neutral in your taste bud, but the coloring makes it really fun for the holiday season. Quinoa is one of my most favorite foods because it's a complete protein. No other grain out there that we know of at this time gives you all the essential amino acids that you need for a complete protein other than quinoa. So I eat it at least once or twice a week. And this is one of my favorite variations is the holiday quinoa. Not only is it beautiful, but it tastes really great. So cooking quinoa is easier than cooking rice. You boil water, you throw the quinoa in, 35 minutes later, you've got this great quinoa. One of the little secrets is, is after you make it, actually let it rest, then use a fork to scoop it out of your pan, and then you're gonna have this white, fluffy goodness that I absolutely love. So today we're gonna show you how to make this great curry vinaigrette that goes over the quinoa. So we're gonna start with just a little vinegar, throwing it right into our container, and a little olive oil. And I know usually you throw the olive oil at the end and blend it in, but there's so many rich spices in this that we have to get the liquid going first before we can throw in the spices. And then we have curry. For those of you who are thinking, ugh, I don't like curry, please give this a try. This is a great way for you to have an adventurous taste bud, and I guarantee you're gonna love it. So we have the curry, a little cayenne pepper. Cayenne and, and curry are probably two of my favorite spice combinations out there. And then we have turmeric, which is known as the queen of spices. So we're gonna throw that in right there. A little black pepper, more pepper, which is the king of spices, and then sea salt. And we're gonna take all of these things together. Notice how many spices are in here, and we're gonna whisk it until we get this really nice yellowy vinaigrette. And the turmeric that's in here is one of those things that we are just learning about now in this country. And it's been used in India for thousands and thousands of years. And one of the things that we're finding out is that men in India over the age of 65, they have a very low incidence of Alzheimer's, less than 1%, which is amazing. So if you know somebody who's getting a little bit older in age, definitely serve them this holiday quinoa this year and get them started on, on turmeric. And also, turmeric is great for wound healing and all kinds of other really great things. The cayenne in here gives it a nice kick, and that little kick that it gives you gives you a little bit of a metabolism, metabolism booster, which is great. So cool down your quinoa, throw over this really yummy vinaigrette, give it a little stir, And you want to make sure that you go through this process first. Don't dump your vegetables in until you've coated your quinoa, and that way you get an even coating, an even dis distribution over the quinoa itself. I wish you could smell this. It smells amazing. So then we have some fresh grated zucchini that we're going to pour right in, some fresh grated carrot, such beautiful colors, scallions, almonds, a little more protein, even though you don't need it though, because once again, quinoa is a complete protein. Craisins, it gives it a nice little color, but also a little sweetness as well. And here's the scoop. This red pepper in here, or excuse me, this red onion in here, this is one of those things you can take it or leave it. I personally love red onion, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in for me and my family tonight. But if it's something that's just too much for you, just omit it, don't add it in, and that's perfectly fine. So we're gonna stir all of these things together right into our quinoa bowl. And we're going to finish it then with a little parsley for some more color, and really just for some good fresh herbs. 
no matter what it is, if it's basil or parsley or whatever, it's just a great way to finish off the, the dish. It makes it a little more special. And so now it's as simple as that, super quick, super fast, and we have this beautiful finished dish of a holiday quinoa. This would be great with a turkey, with a ham, any of your main proteins that you or your family like to make over the holiday season. Let's give it a little bite to make sure it turned out okay. Mmm. Absolutely wonderful. And what's important about this is not only does it taste great, but remember, we've got the king of spices in here, your pepper. We've got the queen of spice in here, your turmeric. No Alzheimer's disease. You're going to help with wound healing, osteoarthritis, so much goodness in here, not to mention the cayenne, increased in your metabolism boost. So make your holiday quinoa, enjoy the goodness of the flavor and the goodness of the spices, and you can get all these great spices, including your quinoa and your almonds, at the Great American Spice Company. I'm Jennifer Wright, your fit foodie. Exercise, eat, and enjoy. For more information on today's recipe, visit AmericanSpice.com. And be sure to watch next week for another edition of In the Kitchen with Jennifer, the fit foodie.